Again, as much as I'd like to do a dramatic reading, I'm going to expect that you've read the problem twice about being a junior planning to graduate. Secondarily, I'm going to presume that you've had the opportunity to key in the assumptions. I will highlight just this one particular one, which is a demonstration of how we can easily get between salary and salary after tax. So if you make $32,000 a year and you're paying a 25% tax rate, so one minus B15 is the tax rate of 25%. That means you earn 75% of what you actually make, which if you then divide it by 12, is actually $2,000 per month that you have to work with. So here's our debt. And the critical thing about this problem is remembering that debt is equal to a present value in, if we're thinking of my point of view as being the borrower. There is no specific future value associated with this debt that we could see in the problem. So we're trying to determine our payment. The rate is indicated to us with 7.35% annually, but the question was asking us for a monthly based payment. So I'm going to make sure that I divide that rate by 12 so that you get the formulaic output of 0.0061. Notice if you were to do that on your own and just type it in, you would get a wrong number because the formula actually isn't showing the full outcome. It's rounded. The periods then here, if you have 10 payback years, but there's 12 months per year, that's 120 periods. So now we could go ahead and find our financial formula for our payment. And we see at a rate that we know is monthly when our periods are months, when we have this as our present value and no future value, there is our $510 payment every month. Again, if you'd like, you could always put a minus sign in front of that so that you could easily say something like, my payment will be about $511 in March. How do we get that? Well, of course, that's two. It's just rounded. Oops. It's rounded like that. So second part of the question then says, we want the loan to only be 20% of my income. Well, if I have $511 in the loan, but my income is $2,000 a month, that means 26.7%, or sorry, 26%, which is a roundup of 25.53%, is the percentage of my income that the loan occupies, which is greater than the 20% threshold. So therefore my situation is slightly unhealthy because I owe higher than one would want.